We started this uh, last week, top 50 players in the game of baseball uh, heading into 2024. So this is for the 2024 season. We did 50 through 46. We are today going to do 45 through 41. So at number 45 on this list of top 50 players for 2024, I have Corbin Burns. Corbin Burns, Brewers. New report came out that the Brewers are not planning on moving him or trading him yet. Last year went 10 and 8 with a 3.39 ERA with 200 strikeouts. That's a good year for a pitcher. I do believe Corbin Burns is better than that, uh, better than those numbers. Obviously, high strikeout guy. He's Cy Young Award a couple of years ago. I still think he is that pitcher. Uh, he is staying with Milwaukee by all accounts. That could just be a play of the, the Brewers driving up the asking price. Who knows? But ultimately, Corbin Burns, one of the best pitchers in baseball. I have him at number 45 on my list. At number 44, another pitcher, Luis Castillo. I love this guy. Luis Castillo is one of the better pitchers in the game of baseball. Talked about him a little earlier when it came down to the Yankees wanting him, and he ended up going to Seattle. He was 14-9 and last year with a 3-3-4 ERA and 219 strikeouts. Castillo, ace of a staff kind of guy. I think he will be just, just that next year as well. He comes in at number 44. At number 43, just talked a lot about him. Cody Bellinger. This is an interesting one for me because not exactly the staple of consistency, Cody Bellinger. You had an MVP year. You had a rookie of the year year. You had all of that. And then you had a big decline. A couple of years, a few years in a row where it was not good. Dodgers end up parting ways, going in a different direction, did not re-sign him. Well, the Cubs did sign him for, I believe it was $17 million in a one-year deal. To me, that said, okay, we're not paying you like an MVP. We're also not paying you like the guy that you've been the last few years. What are you going to be in, in there? Well, I think they got their money's worth. He was much closer to that MVP player than the contrast. He had a really good year, 307, 26 homers, 97 RBIs, and 881 OPS. Where is he going to be in 2024? I don't know, but he's at number 43 on this list. Number 42, Paul Goldschmidt. Coming off of an MVP two years ago, a little bit of a decline for him last year, which is what I'm worried with, uh, worried about with Paul Goldschmidt. He had 268, 25 homers, 80 RBIs, and 810 OPS. That's a good year. It's not a great year. And I do think regression, uh, I, I don't know, I could see around those same numbers, maybe a little bit better next year. Those numbers wouldn't get you on a top 50 list, but it, what, it, what it was prior to that, an MVP, I do think he'll be somewhere in between this year. I don't think Paul Goldschmidt should be considered a 2024 MVP candidate after what we saw last year, but I do think he puts up better numbers, and that's why I have him at number 42 on my list of top 50 players. Now, at number 41, wrapping up today's five players, is Pete Alonzo. Pete Alonzo is a guy that's going to hit you probably 40 to 50 homers a year, and he's going to drive in over 100 RBIs. Batting average last year left a lot to be desired. He hit 217 with 46 homers, 118 RBIs. But with Pete, it just kind of felt like last year he never really got going. The power will always be there. The RBIs will always be there. And that's why he's on this top 50 list, and that's why he's at number 41. Last year, 217. I think he's going to be better than that in 2024. Big year for him. I don't know what's going to happen with the Mets. I don't know if they're going to extend him. I don't know if they're going to trade him by all accounts they are not planning to trade him but he's due for a payday soon at some point will it be the Mets or somebody else I don't know but I do know that this is a big year and athletes have a funny way of in contract years having some of the best years of their career and I think Pete Alonzo could put up much better numbers this year average wise if he hits 46 with 118 you're happy about that no matter what but you'd much rather that batting average be up near 250 260 hitting that than 217. I do think Pete's better next year. So continuing on the top 50, this week we had 45 through 41, Corbin Burns, Luis Castillo, Cody Bellinger, Paul Goldschmidt, and Pete Alonzo at number 41 round out this week's next five. Thanks for watching. If you love flipping bats, swinging 3-0, or just talking ball, join us. Call us at 213-537-9339 with your questions. We have a weekly guest, and we have a lot of fun, so hit that subscribe button.